This is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling, speaking to Ryan Deacon from Northwestern University. Um, he's graduated from uh, Legacy High School in Colorado. He was the uh, a three-time state placer and a one-time state champ. Uh, I took, I won it twice. Okay, so, took, so you were a two-time state champ. I, yeah, so I took third my freshman year, first my sophomore, second my junior, and first my senior. Okay. Um, uh, you're a two-time uh, NCA qualifier, uh, becoming a uh, All-American this year with a uh, sixth place uh, finish. Um, you were ranked number five during the season, most of the season. Uh, you are a redshirt junior this year. Yep. Uh, your uh, title for sixth place was at 157 pounds. Uh, what are you going to be going this year? 157. You're going to stay at 157? Yep. Okay, so no, no changes there, huh? No. Nope. You're not growing any? I think a little bit, but maybe one more year it might go up, but we'll see. Depends. Okay. <laughs> see okay. a little bit taller. <laughs> um, what's your background in wrestling? Um, as far as just like what... Just from when did you start wrestling, um, and uh, what are some of your uh, big titles you've earned, not through the high school, but maybe through youth? Okay. Um, yeah, I started when I was about seven. I started like halfway through a year. Um, my dad just, I think, kind of asked me, he's like, you have too much energy, you want to go wrestle? I was like, sure. So I went and wrestled and kind of fell in love with it. Um, Bounced around a lot. I had so I wrestled at Broom. I started at Broomfield, um, like the little league program. Then I went to I was going to Colorado Elite up with Tony Shunky. I was doing Mile High with Tommy Clum, and then the Bolts Little League here too. Um, so it's kind of all that, and then went to high school um, at Legacy, and yeah, I was still kind of going to some of those clubs, and then just traveling, going to tournaments. Um, I guess I went to Fargo a couple of years, uh, went to like Super 32, stuff like that. So Virginia Beach Duels. So we kind of just went all over the country. Coaches would take us and uh, I'd go with my dad and yeah, just wrestle everywhere. It's it a lot of fun. So going to some of the major tournaments, uh, national tournaments, uh, did that uh, fuel your desire to go on to college? I think or so. when did you think you were going to go to college? I think... Um, yeah, I think doing well in national tournaments and just like just knowing that I love the sport kind of made me want to keep doing it. So um, it, it was it was always always cool, you know, going out outside the country and wrestling, you know, the best guys from every state. So that was always awesome. Um, enjoyed enjoyed seeing like new levels of competition all the time, and uh, so that was kind of opened your eyes to how much. Uh, how much is out there? There's a lot of there's a lot of really good wrestlers. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of tough matches at first, and then you kind of learn and you know keep improving. And um, yeah, it was it was it was a good learning experience. How do you feel Colorado fares with the uh, big stars like uh, from Pennsylvania and California? I think Colorado is on the rise right now. I, I mean, I see Colorado guys all the time um, doing good things. So. I think Colorado's right there. I don't know if we're like a Pennsylvania, like New Jersey, Ohio. I don't think we're maybe that level yet, but I think Colorado's right on the heels of that. And I think it's been awesome, the, the amount of coaches and wrestling um, in Colorado. There's a lot of great wrestling minds out here, and um, I think it's shown over the last few years everything's gotten a lot better. And um, yeah, I think Colorado guys are they're tough now. You know, you see a Colorado guy at a national tournament, that's not somebody you usually want to wrestle. Okay. Um... So, how do you feel you did in your college season last year, um, 2018, 2019? Um, it was good. I mean, I think definitely some things I could have improved upon. Um, so, it was, it was a fun year. Uh, did, a, did a lot. It was a lot of, uh, we wrestled a lot of good tournaments, um, a lot of good duels. So, it was awesome. We got to see the best guys week in, week out. And, um, yeah, like I said, I think it was good. Good learning experience, good growing experience, and I'm excited for the next two years. Uh, walk us through the uh, Big Ten Championship uh, tournament and the uh, NCAA tournament. Yeah, so Big Tens are um, always a great tournament every year. You know, we have um, 
the guys that we just wrestled, we see them a lot because we're doing them that whole year. And then, you know, it's usually the toughest guys in the, um, in the country. Um, the Big Ten Conference, you know, you get, it's never an easy match. So Big Tens are awesome because it's, you run into big, good guys right away. So maybe at the NCAAs, you might have a little bit easier match, first, first round, second round. Um, but at Big Tens, it's such a small bracket. Um, you, you're, it's a dogfight right out of the beginning. So um, I, it's a great tournament. It was fun this year. It was in Minnesota, so it was an awesome environment. Everybody was kind of on top of you, and they, they packed the place. So it was, it was really cool, great, great stepping stone to have that. And then um, right into NCAAs, and NCAAs are awesome every year. Um, it's really cool. The same thing, just the environment. It's it's bigger than Big Tens, but um, it it's you know it's what everyone's training for the whole year. So it's always the end of the year, kind of exciting tournament, and it's a lot of fun to uh, to compete at. And it's it's a little different because it's not your traditional where you might wrestle a couple matches um, within a couple hours it, every day. It's like you might have one match, you warm up for, you wrestle it, and then you don't have another match till six o'clock that night or another match till the next day or something so it's it's a lot more spread out so it's a little different um but it's you know it's what you're training for it's what you're growing up you watch on tv and it's you know it's kind of the you so, know the goal every year so what are you doing in your spare time your downtime in between your matches at like an ncaa tournament yeah like at the ncaa tournament where where it's not one right after the other or one an hour hour and a half apart where you you have more time up to six hours in between matches. Yeah, we usually go home, uh, get some food, go back to the hotel room, shower up, and maybe take a nap or just relax, kind of get off your feet, and then um, once it's time, go go back over there and warm up. So just really relaxing and and uh, you know staying loose. Do you think it's harder to prepare for your matches that way or easier with more time? Um, I don't know. I think they're both. Sometimes it, tournaments, it's like bang, 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 and matches, and you just get through them and just keep wrestling um, and don't really think about them. And um, I think with NCAAs, you have more time to kind of prepare for guys and stuff. So I think guys are more aware of everything that you're doing and you're more aware of what they're doing. Um, so I think it's different. I don't know if it's easier or harder, um, but it's definitely... It's definitely nice to be able to go back and kind of relax between rounds and kind of get off your feet. Okay. Um, what were some of the best moments this year for you um, for the college season, and what were some of the worst moments for you? Best and worst moments. Just in wrestling. Huh? Just in wrestling or yeah. just like, okay. Um, well, you can tell me about college life too. I mean. Well, I mean, I don't know, like... <laughs> Like as a t like as a team or personally, I guess. I mean, personally. Personally, um, I think it was really cool. First time going to Vegas this year. We went to Cliff Keen, um, so that was really cool winning that. It was a lot of fun. Um, Midlands too. Midlands was fun. I, I we host Midlands every year, so that's probably one of my favorite um, favorite tournaments. It's awesome, kind of being at home and. Kind of a home crowd and making it easier because you're sleeping in your own bed and, and yeah used to, more used to the environment yeah well actually this year so they switched we switched it to um they're redoing one of our gyms at the at our arena so we actually were at um the sears center so it was a little bit it was like 45 minutes from us so it was nice we could you know get our last workout in at our um our room but then it's also work it's good preparation for like a big 10 or um ncaa tournament because we're going and sitting in a hotel and staying overnight there so it's like home but it's not right in our arena anymore um or at least it wasn't this year i don't know if we're changing that back or not so that was fun um i think for some of the bad moments i had a right after christmas we had we started a big 10 dual season and I had the number one ranked wrestler and then the number three right in a row. Um, so that was just kind of a part of kind of a grind part of the season. Um, and I didn't wrestle the best that I felt that I could have. So that was probably one of the lower points, but um, it was kind of good it happened when it did. So it was like kind of early on, you know, and I got to see those guys. Um, and so, yeah.
get you prepared for later on in the season. Yeah, that's what's awesome about you know wrestling in the Big Ten is you see all these good guys week in week out, and so every week you got to be on your game and um, you're constantly learning and improving because if you're not, it's you, you're going to lose. So I think it's it you know it's such a high level of competition. It just makes you elevate your game. How did the, uh, becoming an All American uh, this year ch change? Uh, you yourself as a person or uh, change how people uh, see you? Um, I don't know. I think it was it was awesome. It was really cool. Uh, it wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to obviously be um, be in the national finals. I wanted to be winning the, the national title. So it was, you know, it was cool. It was kind of a stepping stone, I guess. Um, but it was just, it was nice to get the experience to go there and it was it was a lot of fun, um, but yeah, it was it was more so just a learning experience of it, um, and excited and motivated to reach higher goals next year. Did you think when you were a younger kid that uh, uh, you'd be in such the uh, limelight uh, that you're in now? Um, no, I mean I think growing up I didn't really know what was going to happen. You know, I was playing a lot of sports growing up. I, I thought I was going to play football. I was playing lacrosse. You know, I played soccer, baseball, basketball, but then I kind of fell in love with wrestling and everything kind of went towards, all my time and energy went towards wrestling. Um, and so, you know, I think when you're going from high school to college, you never know how that's going to go because, you know, college is a whole nother level. Um, but I remember going in there ready to ready to scrap and um, just, you know, trying to work work hard every day. And it's been, I've just been so lucky to be around uh, such a great program, the amount of like support and and uh, good people around me. I think it's just been it's been amazing. It's an awesome environment to to learn from. What are some of the biggest changes from high school level competition into college competition? Um, I think college guys just everybody's everyone's better. You know, every match you wrestle a really tough guy. Um, it's more physical. It's faster. It's more technical. You know, it, everybody's just a step up. So I think you learn quick that you need to figure it out or it's, it's going to be really bad. So, I, you know, that first month or two in the practice room, you, you learn really quick that what you're doing, you need to, you need to execute better, faster, stronger, uh, more technical and everything. So I think it's, it's eye-opening at first and then, you know, you learn to, you kind of just get thrown in and you, you, you learn to swim. <laughs> Okay. Do you think uh, stepping into a D1 uh, program, um, I know a lot of kids in Colorado, they say they want to go either D1 or they don't want to wrestle at all. Uh, what is your fit or what is your take on, on, on that point of, you know, kids going to either D1, D2, D3, yeah. NAIA? I think... Um Wrestling's wrestling. I mean, obviously everybody's shooting and like everybody wants to be a Division One national champ. But I think if you love wrestling, you should be wrestling no matter no matter what it is. I don't think it. I think sometimes situations you got to look at it in your situation and whatever is best for you is what you should do. And I think there's a lot of people that um, do awesome things in other programs in D1, whether it's D1, D2, D3, NAIA, anything. Um, so I think. I think that if you really love wrestling, it shouldn't be a barrier whether it's D1 or not. Um, we have a guy at our RTC right now, Joe Rao. He wrestled D3 in college, and he's a Greco World Team member, Olympian. You know, so I don't think I don't I don't think you should limit yourself that way. And um, yeah, I mean, wrestling is wrestling. So if I, I think people that want to wrestle are going to wrestle, and they should, and no matter what uh, what program or division they're going into. Okay, it's a good segue now to. Uh, open tournaments. Uh, uh, USA Wrestling runs a lot of uh, freestyle and Greco-Roman tournaments uh, throughout the United States and uh, qualifying for world teams. How's that process been for you, uh, especially this year uh, winning the U.S. Open? Yeah, no, it's been really cool. Um, you know, our coaching staff is awesome for folk style, but they also been on so many uh, freestyle they're so so knowledgeable so I mean how was we make we make jokes with him he's been on 
national team since he was 12 because he's, you know, he's been right there for, I think, eight years. You know, he was always, um, always such a high level athlete. And then like Jimmy Kennedy, he's been on a couple world teams um, and he trained at Michigan for a while um, after college wrestling. So there's a, we, we have a lot of good, um, good freestyle wrestlers around the program. So it's really cool to get their help and then going to these tournaments is awesome because it's, it's, we go to Vegas, we have a good time and we wrestle. And um, this year was really cool. Uh, winning the Open was awesome. Got to go wrestle in Final X. That was, um, it was an awesome event. Um, and it's now, you know, I'm, I'm on the national team now, so I got to go to Colorado Springs for, for training camps, and we're training with, you know, the best guys in the world. So it's, it's been an awesome summer, and it's, I've learned a lot just from being around those guys, getting to wrestle those guys. Um, and I think it's, it's really cool to be able to, after season, you know, we take a week or two off and then we transition, transition right into freestyle. And it, it keeps it fresh, keeps it fun, you know, it's a little bit different than folk style. And it's kind of a more fast pace, I think, sometimes. Um, so it was, it was awesome, it was a good summer, and it's been, you, you know, we just gotta go to overseas, there's just wrestling in Belarus. Um, and so just all the opportunities that I've got from wrestling, it's been just amazing. So what is one of your favorite tournaments you've done overseas? Um, I think maybe, maybe it's not your best finish or anything, but it's one of the favorites that you, you, you like going to or that you've been to. Uh, I think the Junior World Championships two years ago when I went to Finland. That was really cool. That was my first international tournament. Um, and just feeling like a different foreigner styles and the the... The level of competition out there um it was awesome so it was really cool you know some adversity in some of those matches i think i was losing to mongolian six nothing and i ended up beating him um and just just those different style of wrestling it's it's funny because you you wrestle in the united states and then you go overseas and these guys are it's still wrestling but it's just it's way different so it's it's you can learn a lot from them and it's really fun because it's you gotta adapt right in the middle of the match otherwise you're um, gonna be in a bad position. Okay. Um, NCAs. Uh, people have talked about uh, switching to a single semester season. Um, I know it's just in the talks, talking stage. What are your feelings on that? Um, I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, I think we're the only sport that doesn't do that. I think maybe other than basketball. Um, and. I think it would make a lot of sense. I think, especially for um, you know classes when when you're taking different classes, maybe it would you'd be able to take a lighter class load during the season. Where when we have we're on quarters, so we'll have two quarters during the season. You know you can't just you, you got to take the classes you got to take, even if they don't fit the best with your wrestling schedule. Um, I also think that it makes it so you can kind of go on, um, you know, sometimes we have breaks and stuff that like for winter, thank you. Um, like for, for winter break, we'll go home for Christmas for a couple of days, but we don't, you know, we have that whole month off, but we're, we're wrestling all the time and, and that's fine. But then if you're, you're wrestling through all these breaks, you don't get to go home as much. So I think, I think one semester makes a lot of sense and it would help kids kind of be able to, um, play with their, their academic load and be able to do better that way and maybe get to see their family a little more. So. Do you think it'd be better on, on, on the wrestler's body? To do one? Uh, doing it one semester? Probably. I think so. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I think guys in college are pretty much training most, most, most of the year anyways. So I don't know if it would make them wrestle less, but I do think it would give guys opportunities to maybe heal injuries better. Um, if the season was a little shorter. Um, but I honestly, I think just academically, and um, I, it, it would make a lot more sense in that standpoint. Okay. Now you are going there for, for a degree and right. being a student first. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the regional training centers? Uh, there's a lot of talk down in Florida at the National Convention for the Coaches. Um, 
you being part of one yourself, what, what are your thoughts? I think they're awesome. Um, I think that it's really cool that we can get a lot of good wrestlers into the same room. And I mean, there's no other sport like that where you train with your competitors and you know, you're, you're helping guys. And um, I, I think it's, it's awesome. You know, we'll have, we have uh, University of Illinois, RTC will, will drive up sometimes and we'll, you know, we'll get to wrestle with those guys. And, you know, you just get so many different partners, get different feels. Um, and it allows us to be able to, to, to grow in our wrestling. So I think it's a really good opportunity. And I think that um, as long as the schools can fund them or the clubs can fund them, it's, it's a really good, it's a really good opportunity. Because it just gets more guys in the room and it gets more uh, wrestling minds together. Okay. Uh, what are your goals for the uh, upcoming season? I think it's always, um, you know, it's always a goal to win nationals, but I think more so it's, you know, I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to improve every day, um, get better at my positions, get better at my attacks, get new attacks, get better on my or on my um, on top, get new turns on top, get better on bottom, have more go-to moves on bottom. You know, so I think it's like little goals incrementally and um, not getting caught up so much on the wins and losses and just just knowing that when I'm that I'm improving and, and just shooting for improvement um, and we talked a lot about the wrestling and the goals that way um, your school work seeing you are a student athlete yeah. um, how are you doing in schools and and what are your goals there yeah I'm doing well um, Schools, it's it's definitely tough at times to balance it, but I think you learn to manage your time, um, and you got a lot of help. You know, got a lot of good teammates that are um, have taken classes before that you you ask them to maybe explain stuff to you, um, or maybe you get a tutor for something you don't understand, um, or you you know you're spending a good portion of your night in the library after practice. So you know you learn to figure it out, and it's an adjustment at first, and then. Um, you, you learn to do it, so I'm doing econ right now, and I really enjoy it. Um, so my goal right now is to, I have one econ class left, and then I have just electives, um, and then I'll graduate, and then, so this fall I'm trying to apply for um, a one-year master's program at Northwestern for my fifth year. So just trying to figure that out right now, and um, yeah, so I'm always, always trying to get all my school work done, and um, balance that with wrestling and social life and um, sleep and everything else. You mean you have a social life? <laughs> a little bit, you know, we, uh, during the season we're pretty tied up, but you know, we, we have a good time. Uh, there's a lot of athletes at Northwestern that we'll hang out with and, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of good friends and we'll, we'll do stuff on our team, you know, we'll go to movies, we'll play games, we'll do stuff, um, you know, we'll go paintballing, we'll, you know, we do a lot of team bonding stuff, and that's, it's really cool, we're, we're a really, really close team, and um, yeah, we have a lot of fun. Now, I've been to a lot of uh, colleges throughout the country, and in the practice room, everybody's got this new game, spike ball. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you wish that you could have invented that game? I think whoever made that up definitely is worth a lot of money right now, so... I think if I had that idea first, that would have been a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, th I thank you for your time. Uh, I appreciate you coming back and giving back to your high school uh, and doing a clinic here uh, at uh, Legacy High School. And good luck in your season this year and in your career at Northwestern and also on the uh, open freestyle uh, circuit uh, for Worlds uh, on your next competition. Now, one more question. Uh, are you uh, going to take a red shirt, uh, Olympic red shirt, and try out for the Olympics, or are you um, still going to be uh, on the roster for this year? Um, probably going to wrestle. I got to talk to my coaches, but I think the training's um, a little more consistent, be able to compete more consistently over the year, and then still can wrestle the Olympic trials. Um, so, not 100% decided yet, but pretty sure I'll, I'll wrestle this year. Now, I've heard some, some uh, college wrestlers are going to uh, do the red shirt, uh, which is going to change the, the Olympic red shirt, which is going to change the um, NCAA look, yeah. uh, which may change some weight classes and who, who may be on the podium for next year. Uh, 
Uh, but also I've heard that some of the guys are going to just take the first part of the season this year and and go into uh, just doing freestyle or Greco and then work on the second part of the season in their folk style um, room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I think uh, guys are going to do what they got to do and, you know, I'm just going to go out there and wrestle whatever they put in front of me. So I think it's, you know, guys will do what they think is best for them and their coaches think what's best for them. So I'm uh, kind of in the same boat. I'm listening to my coaches and um, you know, just trying to, just going to be wrestling, trying to improve. Whatever your decision, uh, good luck and have a great season. Awesome. Thank you.